What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Freaktography Abandoned Time Capsule House Adventure. Guys, we got a good one for you today. Lots of stuff left behind. We got furniture. We got silverware. We got a bed. We got co complete bedrooms, books, kitchen, living room, dining room. Guys, this house has everything you want to see in a really cool abandoned time capsule house. So, you guys, cue the music, cue the intro. See you guys on the other side. All right, guys, here we go. Let's just get right to it. We're going to start here at this piano. Very nice. Check out what's in here. When we open this, we've got two very beautiful, I'm guessing these are recorders. Really nice ones. I don't think I've ever seen recorders that nice before. And then there's a violin sheet music. And then we open up the this here. We got some more sheet music and we got some CDs. Nice, right? Always a piano left behind. And then check out this chair. Just a nice, comfy, uh, yellow chair. Super nice, right? This was a pretty interesting thing to walk into. All this silverware. Look at it. It's beautiful, right? There's just a whole bunch of it. Knives, spoons, forks. These ones are even still wrapped. Can you believe that? Look at this. Still wrapped up, guys. Just crazy. It's a uh, got a bed here. We got a person who lived in their living room. So there's this. We got this really nice comfy bed with mouse poop all over it and stuff. And then they had this wood stove. So this room would have been nice and toasty, guys. You got the wood stove. You've got kindling. You've got all your wood still stacked. What a nice looking stove that is. And that would have really heated this house up really nice. And it would have smelled so good in here. It's a nice comfy green couch right there. If you ask me. So yes, this is like a, like a wood log home. Not like a log home, but it's like a nice, very uh, interesting wood home. All exposed wood inside and out. Got a chair, you got a couch right there, okay. So this is uh, your main, main living room area. And then there's a really nice desk here, almost like an antique desk. Really nice. Moving on. I don't, uh, I don't follow religion, guys, so I don't know who this is. Maybe you guys can tell me. It's a little bit bright with my light on. Um, but maybe you guys can tell me who this is. I'm going to turn my brightness down a little bit here. And then you've got a rosary down there as well. you got the sign-in board. got James Patrick. The guy's everywhere. My good buddy James. We got a couple of people here. High off Arizona. Um, Poke. I have no idea what this one says, but they were here this year. And there's and there's your, your boy, good buddy UBD right there. I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of books in this house. There's religious books. There's computer programming books. There's sewing books. Travel books. Wiring, electricity, construction, Old Testament, Volume 1 and 2, and the New Testament. Restoring furniture, working in wood. And then here you've got cooking and baking. Ooh, excuse me. I slept in an abandoned building last night, so I'm a little bit tired today, guys. Got a really nice Bible here. Wow. Oh. 
Okay, moving along. There's a china cabinet. It's nice to see that this hasn't been smashed. Everything's still intact and looking good. All right, what else we got here? Guess we'll move on to the kitchen. Nice big kitchen. Some really cool stuff in here, guys. Check out this scale. I have never seen a scale like this before in somebody's kitchen. It's huge. Right, look at that. Very nice. And then there's these old, this cutlery. Manufactured in Sheffield, England. Warranted cutlery. Half dozen. And this is what it looks like. Look at that old box. Isn't that neat? And then we got all kinds of cookbooks here. Hershey's 1934 cookbook. St. John's Rosary Society. Favorite re the favorite recipes of the St. John's Rosary Society. How many of my American friends can tell me what this is right here? Because I'm pretty sure you guys don't have that in the United States. Bonus points if you guys can tell me, if you're American, in the, in the uh, comments down below, what is that and what is it used for? There's a table here. Another sign-in board. James Patrick once again. Baby Jesus on the wall. Lots of uh, pots and pans down here. But uh, what I thought was interesting is up in here, all this food and spices and stuff. Nutmeg, turmeric, cinnamon. All that right there, you see. We'll go over here. I've got some black mold on the ceiling there, guys. It's a pretty interesting house. Lots of charm. Lots of stuff to see. All right. Here's the pantry and the laundry room. Here we've got some wheat, pot barley, brewer's yeast, schumach, Whole plum tomatoes, cocoa, coconut. All right. All right. Oh, there's a pencil sharpener right there. What's this thing? Is that, what, is that supposed to be? Is that a pencil sharpener too? Oh, I guess it is. Yeah. Weird. There's two of them. Now, now the base, ugh, now the basement is flooded. Now it's unfortunate because the basement's huge, but the floor's got about a foot of water, so I can't go down there. There's probably a lot of really cool stuff down there, but with a foot of water, not doing it, guys. Head on into the bathroom here. There's a, there's a big, what, are they, what do you call that? Is that like a milk jug or something? Just sitting there in the corner. And then, and then we head on over here. Got your mirror. What's up, guys? Continuing on. Put my light back on. And two, three more rooms. So this one here is a bit of a mess. This is like the workshop. It's the old man's workshop, but it's got all kinds of uh, tools and machines but it's a, it's a mess in here, so yeah. Not really sure what to do in here other than just show you what we've got here. But I can't show you much because there's just too much stuff. The record player up there. 
a good workshop. Weird place for it. Usually you think that the workshop would be in like the basement, not upstairs, the main floor of the house. You got baby Jesus in every room here. This He's in this room twice. He's over there too. So anyways, oh, excuse me, we'll move on. I can't really show you much in here because it's just too much stuff anyways. Now, this one here is just as cluttered as that room and I, and I can show you even less in this room. But this is, looks like it would have been an office. There is a bed down there, but the bed is covered with all of this stuff. So unfortunately we can't see what treasures might be hidden underneath behind the bed and in different parts of this room it's just too uh it's just too full guys too rammed so i'm sorry i can't uh show you more stuff there he is again represent baby jesus oh this is where the computer was so yeah this would be an office and a bedroom And then we have one more room, guys. What's up, guys? Another bedroom, but it's empty. Just got a lot of drawers on the floor. Curtains. Got some pillows up here. Looks like some Easter eggs up there. Decorative Easter eggs. And then there's some pictures and stuff. I don't really feel like rifling through stuff today, so I'm just going to show you like this, okay? There's no baby Jesus in this room, though, guys. Okay? So that's this one, guys. That's it. Just an easy walkthrough. I thought this was going to be more interesting, especially when I first walked in. I was like, wow, this is going to be a good house. But honestly, it's not that great. But you know how it is, guys. It can't all be pristine mansions or time capsule houses. We take what we can get. Am I right? Right. So you guys know what to do. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you guys want to get yourself a photography hoodie, Hit the link in the video description to get yourself a freaktography hoodie or t-shirt or a coffee mug. Men's, women's, kids, all sizes. So that's it, guys. Again, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, very important, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Not all my videos are poopers like this one. I got lots of good stuff already posted. Thanks a lot, guys. I got to go. See you next time. Peace.